uh, Anna Nanadeskin, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about the new geological mapping event. The idea of geologic mapping is to develop a sense of how we go from a 2D representation of data on a map to a 3D picture of what the Earth is actually looking like. The uh, topics covered will include things like uh, Earth history, clay tectonics, rocks and outcrops, but really the center of this is understanding the map. Here's an example of a map. Um, it's a contour map. It's a USGS map. One of the things that you're going to want your students to do is to understand how to read something like this. What are we looking at here? First, you're going to want to teach them how to orient to the map. For example, if I look at this map, I see a contour here that's 5,700 and a contour here that's 5,800. So I know that we're going up slow. I see a contour here that's 6,000 and this is then 6,100. So here's a peak, here's a valley. This is actually a saddle point between the two peaks. This is a mountain pass. We can see that there's a road, and we can see that there's some streams in here. So one of the things that one might ask is, of these points, I, um, G, D, which is at the greatest risk of flooding? Now you can see that G is on a stream, and moreover, it's in a valley. And this stream is not a regular stream, it's an intermittent stream. You can see that by the dots here. So this is a region that's going to be very prone to flash flooding. D here is also very close to a stream, but if you look at it, you'll see that there's a couple of contours between it and the stream. So this is 60 feet above the stream, and so it's going to be less um, prone to flooding. If we have a spring at the red dots, which where will the water flow? If we, we look here, we see there's a, a V in the contour plots. And this is the indication of a stream cut valley. And so the, there's a spring here. It's going to flow down that valley. That kind of skill, going between 3D and um, a, a 3D picture of the landscape and a 2D map is central to this. Beyond the qualitative, we also want our students to have some sense of how to do this quantitatively. So how, how do we go from the map scale to these slopes? How do we go from map scale to actually um, calculating distances as well? Okay. Let's just show one other thing. There's some resources here. So these are some of the resources that I can recommend. These books, the Earth um, Portrait of a Planet and the Laboratory Manual of Physical Geology, are widely used as freshman level um, textbooks. And so you should be able to find these online uh, as used books. Carlton College has a nice uh, workshop. And Michael Ritter's web page at the University of Wisconsin Stevens Point, he has an introduction to the physical environment. Let me just show that here. Pull up that web page. Physical Environment, Introduction to Physical Geography. This is a great website. Um, it, help, it has a lot of information about the basics of how landforms uh, can be seen, what, what their geological background is, and also what the uh, appearance of these landforms is on a contour map. So I strongly recommend that students go through this. Thanks a lot, and best of luck.